and a lot of you guys requested this so um, I'm gonna go ahead and do it for you guys and this is gonna be inspired by the color of the tangerine tango and um, I was just like thinking maybe I should do maybe there's like a color of the ear or something and um, so I just searched it up and I guess there is such a thing as the color of the ear and um, I guess Pantone I think it's like a paint company or something they decided that it was gonna be tangerine tango because sophisticated and dramatic undertones so um yeah so I guess we're gonna be doing a kind of an orange inspired tutorial but so let's go ahead and get started okay so first off I'm gonna prime my eyelids with my elf eyelid primer and um, this is in the color sheer and they have a bunch of different kinds and I really like this primer it's very comparable to the urban decay primer potion and I already have mascara on, so I'm sorry about that, but I only have mascara on, so hopefully you guys can forgive me. Okay, so next I'm going to be using my Bare Steady Paint Pot, and um, I'm just going to apply this all over my eyelid, and this is just a nice champagne color. And So now with my e.l.f. all over professional eyeshadow brush um, from my 88 colors palette, the tropical shimmer palette from BH Cosmetics, um, I'm going to take this nice kind of nudish color and I'm just going to apply it all over, all over my lid. I'm going to be taking this orange color right here and it's such a unique really beautiful color um, it kind of has like has like pink shimmer in it too and it's just a very nice color so I'm going to take that color with my Lorna crease brush and I'm just going to be applying it into my crease Okay, so now I'm going to be darkening up the look just a little bit with this um, darker orange color, which is just right above that other orange that we used. And I'm going to take my Lorna eyeshadow brush, which is kind of pencil shaped, and this is going to be perfect to, to apply this color to my outer V. And we just want to darken up the look just a little bit more. Okay, so now I'm going to blend all of those colors together using my BH Cosmetics blending brush. And you want to blend this really, really well. I'm going to take my Lorna eyeshadow brush once more and I'm just going to brush off that color. And now we want to brighten up our inner corner. And so from the BH Cosmetics palette again I'm gonna take this white color right here and we're just gonna apply this into our inner corner just to open up our eyes a little bit now with my all over eyeshadow brush from elf I'm just gonna take that same white color and I'm gonna be applying it right under my brow bone So now I'm going to be taking a black eyeliner and I'm just going to line my waterline. So now I'm going to be applying some mascara and I'm going to use my Lash Blast Volume. And I already have some mascara on but um, I'm just going to put a little bit more. And for New Year's you also probably want to apply some nice false eyelashes just so you can make her look a lot more dramatic. This is the finished eye look and now we'll get on to the cheeks and to the lips. Okay so now for the lips I'm just going to be applying my EOS lip balm and it's kind of black from eyeliner <laughs> but um it needs a bath. 
to do a nude look for this eye and I'm going to take my Revlon lipstick in the color Soft Nude and this is my all time favorite nude lipstick. I really like how um, how it looks on my skin tone and um, you guys can't really see it because of the bad lighting but this is how it looks. take my Stila lip glaze in the color Creme Bouquet and I'm just gonna twist it up. Oh and this is the color. Um, it's a very nice nude color but it has a lot of shimmer in it. It has nice gold shimmer in it so it's perfect for New Year's. That is the finished lip and now we're gonna do a nice um, warm blush and this is my e.l.f. contouring blush and bronzing um, palette. And I'm just going to take this nice um, light pink blush and using my e.l.f. professional bronzing brush I'm going to just take this and apply the blush to the apples of my cheeks and I like it because it's angled and perfect for just applying it right to your apples. So you just want to smile and then slightly extend it to your temples. Okay, so this is the finished look, and I actually really like how it turned out. Uh, I wasn't sure about the tangerine color, but I think it's actually really cool. I think it'd be a very nice emphasis like on your eyes, especially if you're just wearing a nice black dress. So um, I really like how this turned out, and I think it's really cool that it's inspired by the tangerine color that is... Um, 2012's color of the year so um yeah thank you guys so much for watching and if you try out this look then tweet me your pictures and um also comment below and tell me if you did do this look for new year's and um i hope you guys all had a great christmas i know i did um sorry for not posting as many videos as i probably should have um I was just busy um, hanging out with my family, you know, spending some nice time with them. And, um, yeah, so I hope you guys like this look, and um, Happy New Year also. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.